Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be putting together my 2022 gardening planner, but I wanted to show you my 2022 work planner real quick because what happened was I filmed the video and it has no audio and we have absolutely no idea why that happened, how that happened, not a clue. Um, so like I could set it to some probably horrible music and speed it up and you could see it like really fast in a short video or I can just show you the planner so I'm going to show you the planner but if you want to see the video now I have to remember if I still have it if I still all right if you want to see the video sped up with music let me know and I'll make that happen as long as I still have the video <laughs> if I do not have the video uh, sorry about the coughing. If I do not have the video, I will pop up on the screen. Sorry guys, I don't have the video because I honestly don't remember if I saved it or if I deleted it. Um, I was really upset though because that was the first um, planner setup video I had done and it was just gone. So my old planner was a floral planner uh, from last year and uh, it was in the pink cover. And this is much better. That had like hustle written on the front, which I don't know. It just kind of bothered me. Um, I like that this has nothing on the front. So that has nothing on the front. And then we open this up and I like the polka dots. I think that's really cool. Um, and I have the same usual stuff over here, which reminds me when I talk about small shops, I never mention Emma's euphoric planner. Uh, she made me all these custom words that I use for work in here. Um, so these are in here and then you know I have like an extra sheet of stickers and I donate to St. Jude's so they, they're always sending me labels and notebooks and things um, so I keep those in here and then I've got some other uh, work related stuff that I tuck into that folder Let's see if I can get this under the camera I just love this planner so I kept a check it off in here because I use them so often and then I've got my um, I still have December in here, so I've got my little Christmas clip, um, and then that's stuff I still need for work, and then here is January. So because um, this is just for work, for right now, I've got all the months in here. If this becomes a problem, this becomes too bulky, um, I could always move some out and throw them on those um, covers that we got from Amazon. Unless I run out of those, in which case we're going to have to order some more covers from Amazon because those were a good deal um, and they're very useful. So then I have this folder that I pretty much never use. It's kind of like an extra divider. And then I've got like notebook paper and a bookmark that denotes the change. And then I've got some of this project paper and then I've got another bookmark. And this is um, like the daily checklist page that I use. Um, I only threw a few in here because you know regular size discs so there's not a lot of space and then this divider is where I will put um, prior months like I did before and then if that becomes a bulk problem then I'll move them into other covers um, and I don't have anything in this back pocket here so that's pretty much my work planner um, you know it's not all that exciting although it is to me because it's gorgeous um, but it's not all that exciting and even less so since I can't actually show you guys anything once I write in it um it's just kind of a bummer but it's um hazard of my job um all right so let me put this down here all right so onto my garden planner this definitely needs metal discs so we're going to have to undo this whole thing um so we already talked about this at great length, so now it's just a matter of setting it up because it is an undated planner. This is from the most recent undated planner release. Uh, I just fell in love with this thing as soon as I saw it, so I'm going to use it, even though I have other undated garden planners that I could use this year. Last year I did not use a garden planner, I used um, a floral garden planner. It said just bloom on the cover, it was like white and pink, it was really pretty. Um, I used that one because I didn't know that Happy Planner made garden planners at the time uh, until later when they came out with the box. I bought the box. I have the planner upstairs. I like this one better. The great thing about Undated is I can use them in whatever order I want. So <laughs> that's what's going on there. So this is not going to need 
is it should not need um, full-sized discs. So I'm looking at this and I'm wondering to myself, do I want to do black metal discs? Do I want to do white metal discs? Do I want to do, uh, what else do I have in a normal size? I have some champagne or gold Mickey discs that I could put on this that would go with this. Definitely not putting yellow on there, although because it's sunflowers, it gets a pass. Um, let's go with the white metal discs, just because I haven't put them on anything yet. Uh, and they will go with the majority of this. Alright, so we are going to have to take the whole thing apart. And then we'll do our add-ins, and then if that becomes an issue, then I'm going to have to find um, some extra discs around the house. I'm finding I'm having trouble finding extra classic sized, not discs, covers. Um, I'm having trouble finding extra covers around the house for classic sized things as we film videos. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's see, do we have one that I opened and mutilated? We must. The question is just where did I hide it? That's the regular white ones. What else is in here? Okay, there's the ones I opened. Not that I don't like the regular white ones, I do. But this shimmer is just so interesting to me on these snowflake ones that I really, I want to use these just because I find it that interesting. And I have more of them over there, but since I didn't open that box, I'm going to leave that box be. All right, so we need three, six, nine, so that leaves two, and I don't, metal discs have their own storage home. Um, I don't put them in the glass jars. I'm Honestly, I'm afraid I'll drop like a whole bunch of them in there and break a jar. Um, <laughs> ball jars aren't that fragile, but makes me nervous, so I'm just going to stick with keeping them in their own storage. And I'll bring that down here and show you guys at some point um, where I keep all my metal discs. You probably, well, you might be surprised, you might not. I don't think I'm the only person who stores them that way, but we'll see. All right, so that's looking like a brand new planner already. And it lightened up this side, which I actually prefer. Um, I'm not a winter kind of person. I'm the kind of person who becomes very um, just depressed or, I don't know, somewhat depressed um, <laughs> this time of year. Uh, I don't do well with it being dark so early. And like once Christmas and New Year's are over until gardening season and until you know we switch the clocks and spring them forward it's just dark and cold um, so the good thing about the gardening is I start planting things in the house like seed starting um, mid to end of January so I've got UV lights in the house so that's supposedly helpful um, and I've got things growing so naturally that makes me happy um, so you know all in all you find ways to cope and gardening is a big help for me with the coping so if anybody else has I believe they call this seasonal affected disorder let me know because I'm more than happy to commiserate with everybody else who suffers from this really kind of ridiculous and yet very real depression that sets in this coming time of year. So, Brady. I 
would do this like add it in just like one season at a time but the way I do things and plan things out I can't really do that um, I suspect that there will be extra weeks in here because it is undated and they tend to give you more weeks than you need because they never know how many you might need so there may be extra sheets getting stuck at the back We'll see what happens over the course of the year. Um, there really is no month of the year where this won't get used. I mean, it gets used less in the fall um, because in the fall you don't have to water near as much or fertilize near as much because uh, there's much less sun and it's cooler out. So since it's cooler out, the water isn't evaporating from your garden beds and your plant pots, so you water less. They're not stressed out because they're hot. Um, and you fertilize less because since you're not overwatering to compensate for the heat, your fertilizer is staying in your soil longer. So it's really nice. Um, and it's, you know, I use organic fertilizer and compost that I make in my backyard. Um, my town used to, when I first moved here, have like a compost day. The town compost stuff. And then they let you take X amount. Um, I forget how much it is now. Um, one day in the spring you show up with whatever you want to... There's, like, they tell you what kind of containers you can put it in. Um, you know, like you can show up with like one large garbage can or... I think leaf bags were an option, plastic bins, that kind of thing. So basically they tell you how much you can have, you show up, and they load it for you. So I found out about this at the end of 2019, and it occurs in April. And then what happened? <laughs> COVID. So that was, which one of you was the last page? Hmm. Uh-oh. I think it was this one. Um, and so they canceled it in 2020, and they canceled it in 2021. So it's a good thing I make compost, but um, I could have used more. I bought some bagged compost. I wasn't particularly thrilled with that. All right, so we are now on our new discs and these black discs can go in a regular sized disc jar, which is actually starting to fill up. Okay, so now with the setup, we're going to do the month stickers, but um, what I want to do is set up I put in um, note paper because sometimes I need note paper and I've got some folders here um, mostly for holding the stickers um, because I put the extra sheets of stickers in here so like these are checklists and notes and then you've got grid paper on the back which I appreciate because I'm often drawing um, diagrams for my um, garden beds and stuff so I like that. Um, and I showed you guys this sticker sheet. And I've got another bookmark, sticky notes. And then this is just note paper and graph paper. I mean, it's pretty much the same. You've got a list over here and graph here. And here you've got just a list without anything on it. You've got a list with. Um, bullet points and then you've got a piece of grid over here and then you've got the big piece of grid on the back and on this one you have a big piece of grid on the back so it's really just kind of the same sort of note paper it's just a matter of which one would you like um, I really don't need two folders so I'm gonna stick with this newer one because a it matches this planner and B I like it slightly better. I mean, I don't hate this folder. It's cute. Um, you know, where flowers bloom, there is hope. 
I recently started growing flowers, largely um, edible flowers, but I did recently start growing flowers. My daughters like to grow flowers. Well, all right. Chloe likes to grow flowers. Emily likes to grow blueberry bushes because that's her favorite um, fruit. That's her favorite thing to grow. And, you know, other than acidifying the soil and knowing exactly when to prune them and when to um, give them fertilizer and how to give them fertilizer because blueberries are weird. Most plants, you could just stick the fur, you know, if you only stick it on one side, it's fine. The whole plant will get it. It doesn't matter because of the way the roots absorb it. With blueberries, it doesn't work that way. You have to go all the way around the plant or the whole plant will not get the fertilizer. It's a very interesting um, the way these things differ. So, okay, so I'm going to use this bookmark back here to, because A, I'm going to put months I finish back here. Um, just so the current month is always in the front and I have them for reference. And that way the stickers are back here and then the folder will divide the paper. I don't think I need all this paper at once. So I'm going to take a few sheets of each because I am going to need a few. Like I'm going to be making lists of um, seeds I need to buy. I have to go through all my seeds and figure out what I need to buy. I know I need to order onion. Well, no, I'm not ordering them this year. I ordered onion starts last year and I did get, I ordered a lot. And I did get onions, um, but it was a very disappointing crop, and it's not that I don't know how to grow onions, so I have to blame the starts. I mean, you know, what else am I going to blame? I did everything I would normally do to grow onions, and ran into this problem. So, all right, so these things will go in one of our storage, paper storage facilities that we have. Um... So that's really like the only thing I can think of that would be the problem um, is the starts themselves. Uh, there's a place called Dixon Farms, which most people will recommend to you to buy your starts. I bought them from Burpee, um, and I'm wondering if that was a mistake. But I've bought lots of other things from Burpee, like things that are hard for me to start from seed here. I will buy from them, and I've never had a problem with their stuff until these onions. So... I'm going to grow my own starch from seed this year. And that's actually the first thing that will get started in January because they can go outside um, pretty much as soon as the danger of frost is over. Uh, a little bit longer maybe. Spring onions might beat them outside. Um, I do grow a lot of onions. We eat a lot of onions. Having a lot of onions is a good thing a blessing uh we don't eat potatoes anymore so we'll be growing meat those this year so i'll have more room so like i'm just gonna keep babbling if i don't stop myself so <laughs> okay so because i babble we're gonna go back to the front of the planner and like i don't need to change the dividers in this what i do need is to rob one of my other planners of its perpetual calendar because this is the one kind of planner where I use a perpetual calendar. So I need to find a dated one for this year where I don't care if I don't have it and steal it and put it here. So this is the currently page which I hardly ever use. Um, this will go on whatever week I'm currently working on and these generally go exactly with it because I use them all the time. All right, so let's do our months on our tabs. And then we will pop in the bookmark and the stickies and then really we're done. That's, that's all the setup that this requires. It's not complicated. The complicated part is figuring out what you're gonna grow and when to grow it. Um, you know, if you don't know these things, and every year's a learning year, there's always something else you can learn, something else you can do. So, I like that about gardening. You never get bored. Alright, now, as we all know, I am not good at putting stickers on straight, so we're going to hope <laughs> that I can manage to do it. want it this way, right? So that I can read it. Yeah, not straight, but that's okay. 
Alrighty. Which one is next? Here we go. And if you wanted to rearrange these months in some particular way because you want the dividers in another order, you can completely do that because it's undated. So you can put things wherever you want them. Which is another bonus to the undated planner. Okay. February. And upside down February. Also gives me a chance to move the pages around the discs so that they're completely secure. Which one is next? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got March. Oops. Yeah, these are not going to be straight, and I'm not going to fuss over them being straight either. As long as I can tell what month it is, that's really all that matters to me. Because I don't want to think that I'm in April and actually be in like May or something and getting my garden plan all screwed up. So as long as they're marked and readable. It's all good. Alright. Oh, now my curiosity. How many of you garden? And do you use a garden planner? Did I just mess up? I did. Okay, now. I just messed up. I went from March to May. Guess what? It's an undated planner. <laughs> no problem. It's, is it going to mess up the tab order? Yeah. But it's not the end of the world. I mean, I could put undo and take them off. And But why? It's fine. Okay. So, April. The problem is they go on, I don't know if you guys have been looking at this sticker sheet. So like here's June, right, which comes after May. And then there's July. So what I did was I went from March and I went down and it was May. So actually, yeah, you guys probably won't be able to see it on camera, but you can still see the words in here. So it was January, March, May. So that's how I screwed myself up. I just went down instead of going across. Honestly, I think they should have just made two rows of all the months on each side. I think that would be easier to correctly follow along with, but I don't make the planners. I just use the planners. Okay, we already did May, so now we are on June. June is a good month. Okay. Great, I really do love these desks. Oh, and this is the same as the front cover, except it's black instead of gold. And we're on July, so it would have been nice if they had put some red, white, and blue on this divider, but, you know, that's just me. Okay, next tab is this one for August. Oh, that's cool. Remember your roots. I like that. And that's a good place to put it because August is where you're putting out your fall garden. You should really start seeds for your fall garden in 
July. Um, but depending on where you live, they can start going out in August, depending on what they are. Some people will grow one batch of tomatoes and think, okay, that's it, I grew my tomatoes for the year. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. You can grow a second wave of tomatoes. You can grow a second or third wave of cucumbers. Uh, there's lots of stuff that you can just keep growing pretty much until it's too cold. Like my tomatoes stay in the garden until it is too cold for them to actually produce tomatoes anymore. Pretty much once we get a real good actual frost, they're done. Um, but I will let them continue to do their thing and give me tomatoes until they are done giving me tomatoes. Squash season, pumpkin season, cabbage season, lots of squash. In November, pulling garlic out. Depends on when you plant it garlic needs to grow at least nine months um, usually you plant it in November um, and then you would pull it in like August you could plant it in October too but October's here are really warm um, so I tend to do it in November but this year I had to have emergency surgery so my garlic did not go in until December so, my garlic won't be coming out until August or September at best, um, which is fine. I mean, you don't get that gardening space for all that time, it's just, it's garlic, um, and there's really nothing to interplant. I mean, I suppose I could put in some radishes or something, but I don't know if garlic and radishes really like each other all that much. I'm not that big into companion planting in certain circumstances. I've seen it work, and in certain circumstances, I think it's a bunch of hooey. Um, so, <laughs> that's really up to the individual person. There's people who swear by it, and there's people who are like, yeah, no, that doesn't work. Um, I'm in that particular camp, but, you know, that's, that's up to everybody. Okay, so, this would be where I will be starting three weeks from now. Two weeks from now? I think it's two. I'm bad with the calendars and this one isn't dated, so it's not going to help me. Um, but yeah, I am filming this well in advance. It's not even Christmas yet. Um, Alright. So, we got that on, and it's a new bookmark, so it's going to be a pain for a little while and then it'll be okay it's just very tight plastic and then these I have used before so these should snap yeah right on my sticky notes okay so we have all right we at least have our months in um, so you can write your month in here or you could put on um, stickers you have Heather's uh, date books or Happy Planner dates or you have Mojo Jojo's dating book. I have two of each of their books plus all my Happy Planner stickers. Um, so you can put the month up here and then you just, it already has the days of the week so you just have to put the dates on. Um, so it makes it slightly easier than my teacher planner <laughs> where I have to do the days and the months uh, and the, the dates. I have to do like everything that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with a couple of your friends and I'll see you in the next one